Hi guys, uh, welcome to R2E and uh, this is me Ramanu Jaman and in this video we are going to solve this problem that is block and wedge. So what the problem says is that a block rests on a wedge that is inclined at an angle theta and the coefficient of friction between block and the plane is mu. So here there's a coefficient of friction that is mu. So in the problem number one, so A, find the maximum angle theta for the block to remain motionless on the wedge when the wedge is fixed in a position. Okay, so first draw the di first choose the two uh, axes along which we are going to uh, balance our forces. So I choose them like y and x. So along the inclined plane and perpendicular to the inclined plane. So I have this angle. So I have this force. Okay. Uh, so just a second. I have this force mg working here. And uh, then I have a perpendicular, uh, there is normal to it. So there is a normal to it, and uh, so exactly this is theta. So n is your mg cos theta. Now you have your uh, the downward direction, you have your mg sine theta is equals to your frictional force that is mu times n and if you divide the two equations if you divide one and two you get tan theta is equals to mu it's that simple now let's move on to the next problem which says a wedge is horizontally accelerated as shown in the figure and assuming your tan theta is greater than mu so find the minimum acceleration for the block to remain without sliding, remain on the wedge without sliding. So what happens is that uh, again you have your uh, you have a frictional force. Okay, just uh, I'm not quite good. So you have your sorry frictional force out there, and uh, definitely you take a perpendicular out there, and then this is theta, and this is your mg sine theta. So, okay, so so you want to say that uh, the wedge is given an horizontal acceleration A and you want to find the minimum acceleration should that block remain on the wedge. Well, uh, so you can clearly see, so I'll, this time I'll try to solve this in, uh, in real x, y coordinates because it's a little easier because uh, acceleration is in, is in non-tilted uh, you can say x and y axis. So this is x axis and this is y axis, right? So along x axis, my um, a minimum must be equals to uh, again, this is n sine theta plus some other force, not plus, actually minus. f cos theta f theta. so you can resolve uh, this vector along 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 this axis so you you can draw this axis so you can resolve this along here so this is theta so this will be 90 minus theta and this will again be theta so i hope you got this again so let's back here and uh, along y axis since because the a wedge is only moving in x axis there will be no motion there is no motion in uh, y axis so i can say there's a this force balance in y axis that will be given as uh so you take this n cos theta cos theta and then you take the sine theta component of it plus f sine theta is equals to mg okay so you have your one and two so from equation one and equation two we have a minimum upon g is equals to n sine theta i hope i'm correct minus of f plus theta divided by n cos theta 
plus f sine theta. Now, this is my equation. So, this implies that a minimum is equals to g times n sine theta minus of f cos theta divided by n cos theta plus f sine theta. Clearly, till here I'm done. And now let's move to the C part. In C part, they say find the maximum value of acceleration. So for maximum value of acceleration, the diagram changes a little. Okay. So the force diagram will be we have when the the uh, so your friction will be in this direction. Have your angle theta out here, you have your normal out here, and have your angle of friction, you have your friction out here. So yeah, this is MG. This perpendicular to it. Now we have FA max M A max that is equals to uh mg goes in this direction so that is oh sorry so a max will be in uh, in in acceleration in the x direction so okay, this is theta again so take the components along uh, x axis so to take the components along the x-axis that becomes ma max is equals to f cos theta plus uh, n sine theta and uh, for the limiting case and for and then I have a uh, yeah okay so mg uh, okay so so let's balance in y direction also so i have my n cos theta equals to mg plus f sine theta yeah so now, if I reshuffle them a little, that becomes m a max is equals to f or theta plus n sine theta. And that is here it will be m g equals to sorry. N cos theta minus of f sine. So from these two equation, I have a max over g equals to f cos theta plus n theta divided by n cos theta minus of f sine. So again. So these are my questions and with this, I'm done with the problem. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.